Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at the fourth element tidal changing robe. So this is an insulated changing robe, something that you can wear between dives, uh, or well, yeah, just any time on the surface, just to throw over yourself because it's insulated, you've got a nice soft fleece on the inside and it's kind of oversized just to make it a little bit easier. I mean, this for example is a size small and where I usually wear like larges, I can still fit into it. The sleeves are a little bit short, but there's plenty of space in the body and it's nice and long. It goes down to your knees as well. So something to throw over yourself after between dives, whatever, just to protect yourself from the, um, from the elements, keep yourself nice and warm and relatively dry on the inside as well. Let's take a closer look. So this is how it arrives uh, in a in a non-plastic bag, if that makes sense. This is um, this is made from hydrophilic polyvinyl alcohol. Um, it's it's that plastic that doesn't feel like plastic, um, and it's a water soluble polymer. So um, yeah, it breaks down into carbon dioxide, water, and mineralized biomass. Um, yeah, you can recycle it, uh, you can reuse it, uh, and it dissolves. Place in your sink and carefully pour hot water over it, um, 40 to 70 degrees Celsius, uh, and apparently it dissolves. So environmentally friendly way of packaging. Um, and then it's got a, a barcode on one side. Then we get the, uh, the tidal rope itself. Um, we get a little tag, uh, a few of these bits of tissue paper. Uh, so let me unroll it uh, and we can take a closer look at each of the different parts. So starting up at the hood, so this has a peaked uh, hood, so it, it just sticks out a little bit, a bit like a baseball cap, just to help prevent sun or the water spray from coming over your face. Uh, you actually have a, um, a little pull tab to adjust it. Uh, these are hidden, so you can, um, there's, there's a little toggle in there you can't see it but trust me it's it's there um, and these are elasticated so you can tighten it and uh, and it naturally pulls that in just to turn yourself into Kenny from South Park a little bit um, so if the wind is really coming through in the rain you really want to scrunch it down so you're not too exposed you can and it's still elasticated so it's not uncomfortable uh, and then yeah you've got that little toggle on the inside um, just to lengthen it off again on the inside, we can start to see all of this very soft fleecy material just to give you some insulation and also act as a bit of a towel to just suck the water off of you if you're in between dives or after a dive, throw it on and it's, it's just drying you whilst you're wearing it. You have the zipper underneath, a uh, uh, metal uh, YKK zipper with a little pull tab and a full front uh, zipper all the way down to the uh, down to the bottom so you can have it open or you can zip it up closed and that way it's just a little bit easier to uh, to climb into on the inside you have a little um, sort of hanging loop so you can hang it up somewhere and you also have a internal zippered pocket on your right hand side um, and that's fleece lined as well so you can store things closer and on the inside keep them protected the external shell has a 10,000 millimeter HH waterproof weather proofing effect. So yeah, if water is spraying over, it's gonna do its best to, um, to, to roll off and keep you dry on the inside. That fleecing continues throughout all of the, um, uh, uh, the poncho, the, um, uh, the changing robe, all the way up to the sleeves, up to your cuffs. So you are, very well insulated and the cuffs themselves have these little poppers so that you can tighten it or loosen it so it's snug around your wrists to help the other uh, wind from getting up in there they're um they're not oversized they fit your wrist pretty well and pretty snug um but yeah you can tighten them up if you wanted to Moving down to the waist, you have two external pockets and these are both fleece lined as well. So again, keeping your hands nice and warm between dives. Um, and those are pretty big. I can fit like half of my forearm down in that. So really good to, uh, to keep your hands warm on those cold and wet days. And then down to the, uh, the bottom, because this is long, this is gonna go down to pretty much your knees. You can see we have a double zipper. So one that can come up from the bottom, uh, or if you just undo them both, 
then it opens up and uh, and it's extended a little bit over the seat as well so if you want to sit down on something you, you kind of have something that you can sit down on so your butt doesn't get wet and that's the fourth element tidal changing rooms something very useful just to just to protect yourself when you're on the surface when you're getting yourself kitted up uh, between dives when you're swapping cylinders or where you don't want to take your wetsuit off or getting changed underneath inside if you don't want to expose yourself to the elements or the passes by you can get changed underneath inside of it uh, and kind of maintain your privacy it's also environmentally friendly. It's made um, sort of using at least 50 recycled plastic bottles. Um, so very environmentally conscious as fourth element always is. But yeah, this is a more sort of thermal, thicker, insulated version of the Storm. But the Storm doesn't have that front zipper. So you kind of have to climb into it. Whereas this one, you've got that full length zipper that you can actually get into it a bit more like a traditional jacket and then zip yourself up if you really want to be nice and warm. Now, there's going to be more information on our website, simplyscuba.com. There's going to be a link down in the description so you can check it out and buy it from us at simplyscuba.com. Thank you very much for watching, everybody, and of course, safe diving.